Welcome back to my channel, where everything here is educational. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Pray the sinner's prayer, prayer of salvation challenge, this is, and pray it with me. First, let's say, become God's example. Everyone, anyone can, can be born again. Let's start praying for each other, with each other, instead of talking about each other. You know, many of us was never taught the sinner's prayer. Because we left it up to the pastors and the elderly to speak it for us. But it's time for us to learn ourselves. After this, you do this prayer with me. Go to somebody else and pass it around. Teach it to somebody else. Your loved one. Save a life. Save a life like Jesus did. So first, let's raise your hand. Repeat this after me. Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Sins that I know, sins that I don't know. Lord, I believe Jesus lived, Jesus died, and he rose again. I ask that same Jesus to come into my heart and make me new. I believe by faith that I am saved, according to Romans 10 and 9. Amen. It's something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest thing I know. There's something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus It is the sweetest thing I know Oh, how I love the name Jesus Oh, how I love the name Jesus It is the sweetest thing I know There's something about the name Jesus There's something about the name Driving out of this Ohio parking lot is a woman who just attended a church service with dozens of other people, including children. Can I ask you about your decision to go to church to be inside that building? I wouldn't be anywhere else. Aren't you concerned you could infect other people if you get sick inside? No. People who don't go to this no. church. No. I'm covered in Jesus' blood. I'm covered in Jesus' blood. But what about other people who don't go to this church who you might encounter? All of these people go to this church. No, but you're going to be in places where other people I go are. to the grocery store every day. I'm in Walmart, what? Home Depot, all of those but you people. you could get them sick from what happens. They could church. get me sick, but they're not because I'm covered in his blood. Thank you very much. Ninety minutes earlier, we watched as people arrived at this evangelical congregation, the Solid Rock Church in Cincinnati. This couple about to walk in with a toddler and a baby. And then there is this woman and man arriving. The woman hugs the man. That same man hugs a woman inside. The arriving woman hugs a man inside. And then she hugs a woman. 
church leaders would not talk to us on camera, but have posted this statement, which implicitly refers to the pandemic, and adds, for that reason, we believe that the doors of Solid Rock Church should remain open. The church says it practices social distancing inside, but the pastors would not allow us in, so we have no way of confirming that. Either way, it doesn't address the potential dangers of large gatherings. What if one person is infected? You're all in that building together. It's a large I gathering. I am absolutely not concerned. The blood of Jesus cures every disease. Psalms 91, read it. Miss, you could get somebody else sick if you get sick inside. Well, you. what if you got it? You could get me sick. What if you get others sick, though? Mm -hmm. God is powerful. I know many of you will not take this sinner's prayer challenge and confess with your words what Jesus is and did because it's a lot of non-believers out here and you just want to keep sinning. That's what you want to do. But I'm here to tell you it's a wonderful thing to be saved and be God's, become God's example. You don't want to burn. With that being said, God bless you all. Spread love, peace, and positivity. That's what I go by. That's what I teach. That's what I preach. It's very important. Don't talk about each other. Love each other. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. Mwah.